Hello from Xochimilco in Mexico City. This is one of my very favorite experiences that I've had in the city and today I'm taking you along and showing you what it looks like. For this trip, we're staying in a neighborhood of Mexico City called Colonia del Valle. So for us, it took about an hour in an Uber to arrive at Xochimilco. Obviously, it'll depend on where you're driving from, how long it will take. Also, there are lots of embarcaderos to choose from, aka piers, but our group met at one called Cuemanco. Once you arrive, you have the opportunity to grab some souvenirs, pick up a michelada, and hit the loo before hopping on a trajinera. These are colorfully painted, flat bottom wooden boats, each with their own unique and sometimes hilarious name. Unless you have the hookup to make a reservation in advance, you'll have to negotiate the price there. In my experience, it should be about 500 pesos an hour, and that's for as many people fit on the trajinera. And I'm here with my BFF, Erica, and we're meeting up with a group of people, none of which that we've met before. I think maybe like 20 people. Yeah, we have two boats. We have two boats because there's so many people. Um, and this group came together, I think, from the Selena Hostel, which I've never even been to, but because of a friend connection, here we are. <laughs> yes. And this is how the magic all starts. We're starting with Michelada. We have a couple other fun little things happening. Fun little things. And it's someone's birthday too, so. So it's gonna be really this chill. This is gonna be a great day. And it's a perfect day. It is a perfect day. It's not supposed to rain until like six. If those storm clouds don't come and ruin and rain on our parade. So regardless, I think it'd be kind of cool to like be on the water while it was raining. And we're covered. It's covered. We are covered. Completely covered. We are covered. <laughs> now that everyone is loaded up, we're pushing off. They use these really long sticks to push and navigate the boat. And it might look like an easy job, but like they say, looks can be deceiving. My group tried last time and it was way more difficult than we expected, so I have so much respect for these guys. So what is Xochimilco anyway? In the native language of Nahuatl, it means field of flowers. Some refer to it as the floating gardens. Essentially, it's a network of canals and artificial islands that have existed since pre-Hispanic times. Originally, they were used as a transport system, and now Xochimilco is a fun, shenanigans-filled destination for both Mexicans and foreigners alike. As you can see, our group is ready for a good time with a speaker and lots of drinks. You can also buy food, snacks, drinks, beers, floral headbands, and more from vendors floating down on trajineritas. Is that how you say small trajinera? <laughs> It's not Ooh. working or? I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me. I mean, well, this is, it is what it is. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, Erica, how were those batteries? They were great, except for the part that I think you have to grab a bucket of water to flush the toilet. And I didn't realize that until after I left. Is each person supposed to do that? Well, I, there's, there's like a big thing of water. And buckets. there should be instructions. There should be written instructions. In fact, the great thing is you get to pay them five pesos in order for you to have this experience. Yeah. But they were private, they were okay. I was bursting, so I will pay I would have paid much more than that to, to get to go. No, they they should probably charge more. They could probably make way more money. There would be a, there would be a revolution against the higher prices, I think. The great thing is though, at all these bathroom stops they also have like snacks and souvenirs and you can kind of just get out of the boat and stretch your legs a little bit. While we were on this little island, we also had oodles of fun with this tire swing to the theme of I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Some people were better at this than others, most likely because there's quite a bit of booze involved at this point. Before we know it, somebody had rented one of the mariachi bands, which have their own trajineras. They pull up alongside the boat, usually they tie right to it, and they play you songs. I believe you pay per song, but I'm not entirely sure because somebody else hired these guys.
know why I thought this clip was so funny, but I go to open my soda water and it had been pressurized so it exploded everywhere. I held it away from my body so I didn't get it on me. The guy next to me thought I was trying to cheers the drink and so, salute. <laughs> Soon enough, we were back on the water, chillaxing again. I happened to notice this adorable husky, which looked like a more red-headed version of Laska. How freaking cute. Look at her. Look at her just foraging around, just doing her own thing. Okay, oh my gosh. Seriously. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> I also saw my very favorite bird in Mexico, a Garza Blanca! And at this point, the alcohol was certainly flowing. So here we have Fidel giving us all shots of tequila. <laughs> As we're floating down, listening to music, dancing around. The great thing about all of these boats is that they have a platform, a kind of a space at the end of it where you can get up, like stand up completely and dance around if you want to. And you also have the option to do whatever it is that these guys are doing too. <laughs> or you can even be a total psycho and get on top of this very, very thin, I think, aluminum top boat and dance around up there while scaring the captain half to death. <laughs> um, but of course our group didn't want to, we actually wanted to dock so we could dance our pants off on another island. So here we have another person from the group going around giving us all tequila. I don't think anybody needed more tequila, but there you go. <laughs> From being on the boat, like not realizing you're on a boat, to then being on land, I'm like, oh, everything's okay. We're not yeah, that intoxicated. I'm just on land. I mean, oh. some of the group is definitely intoxicated because they were just making a conga line. I wish I got this on camera. They were making a, a small clip. I'll send it to you. Oh, good. A conga line with a lawnmower. I don't know where the lawnmower guy came from either. Heaven. 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 It was so beautiful. <laughs> it was so random. I think he just appeared out of nowhere. really super hoping to get the clip of this from a friend but I wasn't able to get it in time. Essentially the boat had already started leaving and a guy decided to jump from the island to the boat. Epic fail ended up in the water and it was hilarious and ridiculous. Had to be a Brit. Had to be a Brit. <laughs> There was the most time and he said, he said, not for 15 minutes, 15 minutes go by, and he said, 15 minutes more, but since then we've stopped every five minutes for a bathroom, but this is the last one. So by the time we got back to the dock, it was a little bit of a hot mess. Some people had lost their stuff, trying to figure out where it is. Everybody was very well lubricated, if you know what I mean. We're all thinking, what are we gonna do later? And it was a little bit of a debacle to figure out how we were going to fit in what Ubers or what transportation to get back to the city. But all that leads me to say, Thanks so much for watching, and before you go, hold on, please help me out with something. I am trying to figure out where the heck I should go for Dia de Muertos. It is my favorite holiday in Mexico. I'm deciding between Mexico City, of course, where else, but also Guanajuato because I've already been to Oaxaca City and I loved it there and I want to experience something new. So please let me know in the comments which of those would you prefer to see me make a video in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. On the screen here is another video I made in Mexico City. In fact, my favorite video maybe that I've ever made. It was so much fun. So click on that if you want to keep watching and one more thing before you go. Hi! And go! that bell so you can notify the next time I release a new video and I hope to see you there.